everyone. Today I wanted to show you guys how to make a clean PowerPoint using design to make it stand out out of all the other presentations. So this is PowerPoint Design Basics through design. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you want to get a style that fits for the entire thing and stays consistent. So what this means, it's kind of like a branding guide. You want to keep the same font, you want to keep the same size of titles and text, you want to keep the same color palette, angles, and spacing between the pictures. Something I like to do is to go to View, go to Slide Master, and then from here you can pick your colors, your themes, your template, anything you want, and then that's going to stay consistent throughout your template. And then if you want, you can save it as a template so that you can have it for the next time you have a PowerPoint presentation. When it comes to presenting pictures, you're definitely going to want high quality photos that have to do with your presentation topic. I can't tell you how unprofessional it looks to have anything like clip art or something that doesn't have to do with your presentation topic. You can get these anywhere on the internet. There's a lot of great places that you can get high quality photos for free. I usually like Pexels, like P-E-X-E-L-S, but there are plenty of other great ones. Then as a general rule of thumb, I say try and keep your slides and text to as minimal as possible, mostly the text. You're going to want to keep things like one word or phrase per main point. Then you can talk the rest. So the next thing I would recommend is to use your white space to your advantage. So what I mean by this is just don't overcrowd your PowerPoint. So if you have an image, have it take up about a third of your space cutting across. Or just have things that aren't overlapping, things that give space to other things so that you can direct your attention where you want it. Then I would say use your animations wisely. Sometimes people have emphasis animations where they're not needed. I don't actually end up using an emphasis at all. What I like to use is fade, appear, disappear, fade, the ex entrance and exit, and then move and custom paths for the motion paths. So for an example, and then you can just have them do the same thing. Now there are a few other ways other than white space. I know I'd mentioned it earlier, but again, you want to split up your visual presentation, and so you want to give everything kind of their own space. So whether that's through white space, you could also do it through lines. So like I have here, spacing and the subtext is split up by a line, and then I do that throughout so that people can separate what they're looking at. You can also do it through visual direction, slanted images, so on. But speaking of images, if you want one that covers your entire slide, then you can, and then if you want something on it, I would recommend putting a transparency bar barrier, so adding another layer to that image, and then making that rectangle or whatever it is transparent so that you can have your title, but it still adds a little flair to it. And then finally, there's the icon style. So, whether you grab it from online, wherever you grab it from, or if you make them yourself like I did here, I would recommend doing them with the same style. So right here I have very simple tent and a very simple mountain, very simple tree. They're all kind of the same style. But if I were to have a very simple tent and a very like complex icon for a mountain, it's going to throw it off a bit. So just try and keep your style the same way. Now the last thing that I would say, try and keep your visual aid as equal as possible without adding too much information. I didn't do this one, but I think it's a great job. Instead of having a pie chart or something that has all the breakdown of the degree, I think it does a great job of illustrating exactly where they are, how big they are by the size of the levels. I think it does a great job. So look online, find inspiration for that. But just keep in mind that you should have them size show exactly what you want. Thanks guys. I hope this helps. If you want to see how these slides were made and many more, please like, follow, and I'll see you next time. But mankind won't be destroyed. The fact that you and I are working here today is evidence of that.